All right, this is James Lee. Welcome back to Advanced Python Programming. Let's continue our network discussion and talk about the socket server module. Before we get started, remember that if you have any questions, feel free to fill out that question and comment box. So here are the topics we'll discuss in this module. We'll talk about socket server, which is a Python module that makes our uh, life much easier when dealing with writing client servers. We'll also write uh, programs with socket server that fork and that thread. So let's have a look here. So the previous client server work, however, it was a lot of work for us to write all that code. So there's a much easier way. The easier way is the socket server module. So this module is going to simplify our network programming immensely. So let's have a look at how that would work. So a socket server program includes the following. I do an import socket server. This imports the module into my program. I define a class, and this class must inherit from socket server.stream request handler. And upon doing that, that class uh, uh, inherits a lot of methods and attributes of the stream request handler class. Then simply define a method in that class named handle, and that's called to handle each client connection. Create an object of type socket server.tcp server and execute the serve forever method to handle clients. It's that simple. So let's have a look at an example. Let's look at a quick example of socket server. This is in socket server 1.py. So again, the rules of socket server is we have to define a class here called myHandler. Oh, by the way, this is after importing socket server. My handler inherits from class socket server.stream request handler. Then we define a method within our class called handle. And then this does whatever we want this uh, socket server to do. This is going to be uh, grabbing the address of the client, printing that the client connected, and writing to the client hello world. So this just writes out hello world to the client. So we'll create a host and port like before, and then we simply start the socket server by saying socket server.tcp server, give it the host port tuple, and then my handler, which is the class name up here. We'll print started, and then we serve forever. That means it's going to loop forever serving clients. So I will start this socket server in this window. Now we need a client, so that's going to be client 3. Now client 3 simply creates a socket, connects, receives what was written, closes, and then, and then prints what it received. So the socket server 1 is writing hello world to the client. The client just reads and prints. That's it. So I'll just run this over here. It says received hello world. And you'll see that it loops forever accepting connections. The previous example we looked at handled clients serially or one at a time. It's really very easy to write a socket server program that handles clients by forking child processes. All you have to do is inherit the class forking mix in and TCP server, and that's all it takes. And then the ch child processes will be forked to handle the client connections. Let's look at an example. Here's socket server 2. This is going to be a forking server which means as it's handling multiple clients, it will fork child processes. So all we have to do is change the classes from which this class inherits. <clears throat> so this class will inherit from socket server, forking mixed in, and socket server TCP server. And that's going to, that's, we're creating a class called my server to do that. And the body is nothing. That's why we say pass here. And then the class my handler is exactly the same as before in the sense that we declare it as inheriting from socket server stream request handler. It uh, grabs the address, prints who connected, and then this time writes Python is cool out to the client. So the difference here is that when we create our server, we create a my server object. Remember that my server inherits from socket server TCP server, also from the forking mix in. So when we create my server, it will be a forking TCP server, and then we'll serve forever. So this will 
essentially four fork child processes to handle the clients. Now, if we want to write a threading server, we simply take socket server 2 and change it a bit to be socket server 3. And what do we change? We change forking mix in to threading mix in. Now it becomes a threaded server. Now it'll handle client connections in a thread instead of a sub process. All right, if you have any questions, remember to use that question and comment box. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you in the next module.